Saint Felix of Valois was a legendary religious hermit who, with Saint John of Matha, has traditionally been considered a co-founder of the Trinitarians, a Roman Catholic religious order. Felix's existence is known only from a spurious history of the order compiled in the 15th century. Felix hailed from noble beginnings as the son of the Count of Valois. His mother, guided by a strong sense of devotion, presented him to Saint Bernard at the Clairvaux Monastery at the tender age of three, dedicating him to God. As he grew older, he found joy in assisting the needy. During a tumultuous period, when the exiled Pope Innocent II sought refuge in France, Felix's father, the Count of Valois, extended hospitality by offering his castle of Crepe to the pontiff. The turmoil caused his father's excommunication. This fueled Felix's resolve to renounce the secular world. One time, Felix interceded on behalf of a condemned prisoner, demonstrating the beginnings of his extraordinary spiritual gifts. Predicting the individual's future sanctity, a prophecy that came true. Sensing the future sanctity of the man he had helped, Felix embarked on a path of deep solitude, embracing rigorous penance. Felix's exemplary virtues attracted admiration, prompting him to seek a more ascetic life in Italy. Having dedicated his youth to acquiring knowledge and practicing virtue, Felix decided to serve the Almighty in seclusion. Prior to withdrawing, he took holy orders, relinquishing any hope of ascending to the throne, despite his close proximity by birth. He retreated to a desert to lead an austere life filled with divine consolations. There, Amidst the untamed wilderness, he lived an angelic life marked by perpetual fasting. He intended to remain unknown in that solitary place, but the Almighty had greater plans. This is a quick break to make an appeal to our viewers who watch and learn from our videos. We have been making one new video every week for the last three years. Being a team of very few people, this is such a huge feat for us. We were able to produce these videos using the revenue generated from YouTube and by the support of our kind-hearted viewers via Patreon and PayPal donations. The last few months had been really tough for us. There was a significant decline in YouTube revenues. The drop is almost 50% compared to last year. Here is our appeal. If you think you and your kids learned something from our videos or benefit in any kind, then please support us by making a one-time donation through PayPal or become a supporter on Patreon. Your support will go a long way in keeping up with the productions and bringing the amazing stories of saints to life. Remember, every small contribution helps. It can be as low as $2, the price of your next coffee. Support us to keep making more videos. God bless you. A young man from Paris named John of Matha recently ordained as a priest, sought Felix's guidance. Felix joyously welcomed him, recognizing in John a strong inclination towards virtue. The two saints lived harmoniously in piety for three years when an unexpected event occurred. 
One day, while they were on their regular chores, they received a sign from God. A stag emerged from the bushes, bearing a blue and red cross between its antlers. Felix, astonished, was at a loss for words. But John recounted a vision he had during his first mass, vividly recalled by the stag's appearance. Both saints kneeled and prayed, leading them to an intense desire to rescue prisoners enslaved by Turks and barbarians, saving them from renouncing their faith and eternal damnation. They had similar visions three times in their sleep to establish a special order for this purpose. They left to seek permission in Rome. Pope Innocent III approved their plan on February 8, 1198, founding the Order of the Most Holy Trinity for the Redemption of Captives. The first monastery in the Diocese of Mayo attracted charitable donations, enabling the saints to embark on their mission to ransom captive brethren. Saint Felix, at the age of 85, directed the order's monasteries in France, while Saint John served as superior general. The order sailed to Africa, bought Christians from infidels, and freed them from slavery, rescuing them from both temporal misery and the peril of eternal ruin. Despite encountering numerous dangers and enduring hardships, their disciples were undeterred, fueled by their love for God and neighbors. Heaven showered him with favors, including a vision on the eve of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin where he joined angels in singing the praises of the Almighty. The Trinitarian order flourished, boasting 600 monasteries within 40 years. In his 85th year, Felix received a vision that he would soon join the celestial chorus in heaven. Overjoyed, he gathered his disciples, urged them to remain devoted to the cause, received the sacraments and peacefully surrendered his soul to his maker. O oh God, you inspired blessed Felix, your confessor, to leave his hermitage to devote himself to the work of ransoming prisoners. Grant, we pray you, that by his intercession, through your grace, we may be freed from the bondage of sin and may be safely led to our heavenly home. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who, being God, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen.